Hello there, welcome to the Perfume Experience. My name is Rodney and today we have a special video. So I'm going to look at 25 fragrances that are within 1500 rupees and are perfect for winters. Now this uh, discussion or this video started because of a fellow fraghead who posted on Facebook asking for uh, this particular requirement of uh, fragrances under 1500 for winters. So I suggested a few names and then I realized I had a lot of names to offer and you know this deserves a video. So we thought we'll do a two part video where I will feature 25 fragrances all suited for winter and under 1500 rupees. So on that note, let's get started. So the first on this list is called Prince Charming. Now this is from the house of Yasmin and this is an alt of Performs de Mali's Carlisle and this particular fragrance has got notes of uh, nutmeg, cinnamon and uh, tonka beans and all of that and the scent profile that you get is a warm, spicy, woody kind of a fragrance and in my opinion this is an underdog. It's a beautiful, lightly sweet, uh, beautiful nutmeg, cinnamon type of a fragrance and this one projects to at least about 3 to 4 feet and gives you about 8 hours of performance. For the colder times I think this works really really well. It's got that beautiful ambery uh, ness and it's got that little bit of that boozy vibe to it probably because of that cinnamon and nutmeg but because of the tonka beans this really plays out well and I think you should definitely consider this. This should be about in the price tag of 1300 to 1500 rupees for um, uh, you know in the Lux line series of uh, Yasmin uh, fragrances. So the first one or uh, one of the ones to begin with is Prince Charming uh, from the house of Yasmin fragrances. So that. The second one on this list is called the Doshin Gabbana The One. This is the EDP. You can actually get a decant of about 10 to 12 ml easily for less than 1500 rupees. But if this is not something that you want to get, you can definitely get the Alts. This is a dream catcher for men uh, from the house of Pandora, which is an alt of the Doshin Gabbana version. So the scent profile on this is amber, tobacco, sweet, and you know, a powdery kind of a fragrance. Very, very beautiful dry down, fab dry down. The OG uh, lasts at least about four to five hours but in between it becomes really really loud uh, but the alts are a little milder but then you know the, it carries the scent profile very well so definitely can consider uh, Pandora's uh, dream catcher or you can also look at the Albate uh, the one for men that is also fantastic uh, that is also very good but again not as loud as the uh, the EDP version of the original but then lasts much longer than the original so you know that is also something to consider I am doing a full review or a full comparison video of this with some other Hindi houses you can watch out for that very soon but for now you can definitely consider pandora dream catcher okay so that is this number two number three on this particular list is a very new entry and it's in the gourmand lines and it's making a lot of buzz across so this is from the house of almaham this is called pistachio gelato now as the name says you kind of get a very pistachio um, creamy ice cream like you know a vibe out of it this is not a beast kind of a performance okay obviously because of that cream creamy notes but you get a very very beautiful bubble around you and this fragrance has got a good siage and you know so it leaves a nice trail so this is a fragrance that will get you compliments because most people will definitely like this around you so it's got that very nice sweet uh, pistachio creamy you know vanilla kind of a texture very very beautiful fragrance uh, definitely worth for 1500 rupees again so this is number three this is pistachio gelato from the house of uh, almaham so you know a very very nice gourmand line so uh, the way this video is going is that you know we're segregating uh, we're looking at fragrances that are into leather they're into oud they're into gourmand so this is one of the man fragrances under this particular uh, list. Next one on this particular list is called I think Voodoo Priest and this is a take on Mancera's Red Tobacco. This is from the house of Scented Lake. Now this is a fantastic fragrance that has got tobacco, that has got vanilla, that has got a sweet element to it. Now this is a tobacco based fragrance so it's very very good and it, in the colder times it performs really really well. So this is a tobacco fragrance that you can consider beast mode performance in my opinion. You easily get about 8 hours and projects more than 3-4 feet. Loud fragrance. And and a fragrance that will get you compliments. Very nice dry down at the top because of that, uh, you know, um, uh, tobacco and that sweetness. You kind of get that feeling like a boozy vibe, but it's mostly the tobacco that's playing with that uh, sweet elements of cinnamon. So it's a very, very nice fragrance to consider. This is a Centedelix, uh, you know, Voodoo Priest. This is number four. Number five on this list is. Um, Fractal Cologne from the house of Centedelic again. Now this is a take on Garland's Ideal Cologne. 
Now this has got notes of almond, citrus and vetiver. So but the, the thing is when you put this on you get that vetiver vibe but along with it you get that almond bitterness to it as well. So there's a very beautiful bitterness. There's a little bit of that vetiver. There's a little bit of that uh, you know sweet element to it. And in my opinion, this is a fantastic fragrance at night. This is a pretty strong fragrance, though it's a cologne, it's a pretty strong fragrance. So, you know, people around you might kind of get a little uh, off. But then, uh, you know, if you love fragrances and you want to wear something bold, something amazing for the evenings, you can definitely consider this. This is again should be under the ballpark of 1500 to 1700 rupees. If you're able to find a parcel like this, you can get this for something like 1000 rupees, you know, a very, very decent uh, 40 42 ml partial. So, definitely consider this. This is Fractal Cologne from the House of Centedelic. It's a take on Garland's ideal cologne uh, with notes of things like almond, you know, and that is a very, very beautiful note to consider. So definitely consider citrus, vetiver and almond. This is Garland ideal cologne. Next on this list is a very new entrant called Naxos. Now Naxos has got things like lavender, it's got honey, it's got tobacco. It's a very, very beautiful, sweet, lovely kind of fragrance. The OG has got an amazing sillage, the amazing, you know, um, you know, scent profile and people will actually compliment you when you wear this. But in case if you're not able to get this, uh, which is from the house of uh, Zerge of Naxos, if you're not able to get this, you can get this from Scented Elec, it's called Drip Drop, um, uh, Drip Drop 2. Now this is uh, also very, very close to the OG that I have, but the only difference is the dry down on this is a little more bolder, a little more powdery, a little more talcum. Uh, so the scent profile is very, very nice. You have that sweet element, you have that onion element, but the base note is a little more, uh, you know, woody kind of thing. Very, very beautiful fragrance. Projects like crazy and last uh, like really long as well. So easy six, seven hours on lasting and projects at least good two to three feet for the first one hour or so. Lovely uh, alt from the House of Center Relic. Very new, recent one. You can get this for a very good price tag for less than 1,500 rupees for 50 ml. So this is an alt of Zerge of Naxos. This is called Drip Drop 2.0. So next on the list is one of my favorite fragrances of all time and it is a perfect perfect winter wear. Uh, this is the Diorome Intense uh, from the house of Gio. Now this has got uh, primarily iris uh, and you know orris butter, it's got lavender, it's also got uh, all of these elements but this is a fantastic fragrance because the scent profile that you kind of get on this is amazing. This is uh, talky, uh, you know it's got that uh, woody essence, it's got all of that but that's that lavender and the iris that really makes for a uh, amazing amazing fragrance fantastic fragrance now this is the og of course uh, if for but you can get a definitely a very good alt of it and i think this is it this is uh, tuscany iris from the house of musna fragrances this is the uh, one of the best alternatives out there for diorum intense if you want to get a diorum intense with that excellent uh oris butter vibe and iris and perfect for winter it lasts really long and sub 800 900 rupees you will get a 50 ml of this so you can either get uh, musna's version okay now that is in case of diorum intense but if you want to get diorum parfum and then i would say that you should pick up uh, timeless uh, uh, 3.0 so okay so the timeless 3.0 is from the house of centedelic this is the take on the durum parfum so the primary difference between durum intense and parfum is parfum has got the leather note to it and this is one of those uh, batches that is uh, very very popular among people but the 3.0 I've heard is also extremely close to the OG of uh, Diorum Parfum. So you can definitely consider if you're looking for Diorum Intense or Diorum Parfum. Diorum Intense, Musna Fragrances, Diorum Parfum, consider Timeless 3.0 from the House of Centedelic. And the next one on this particular list uh, is called uh, Dreamcatcher. Now Dreamcatcher is from the House of Perfume Cart. Now it is their private blend now this will uh, remind you of vanilla woody elements and you know a little bit of spice elements but on a sweeter note now this particular fragrance is in my opinion a very close resemblance to uh, victor and Rolf's spice warm extreme so it got a little bit of that dna on that but a very very beautiful fragrance for winters and it's very very uh, you know budget friendly so sub 800 to 1000 rupees you should be able to comfortably get a 50 ml or so i will put in the details of all of these uh, fragrances so this is sweet this has got powdery this has got a woody element a little bit of the spice element like cinnamon and nutmeg and all of that a good lasting easily lasts you about five six hours and projects at least good two to three feet again a compliment getter a very very beautiful fragrance from the house of perfume cart this is called uh, dream catcher 
So number nine on this particular list is a recent, um, you know, find. This is from the house of Ardal Zafran's Black Orchid. Now, so if you like Black Orchid as a fragrance and where there is note of uh, truffle, Mexican chocolate, uh, which are the primary two notes of this particular fragrance. So you get a very gourmandish, very beautiful, complex kind of a fragrance, which will kind of give you compliments. And at night times, this is fabulous. So the OG that I had, uh, I put it on the other day and when I was coming back uh, from Delhi and uh, six hours, seven hours, it's there on your clothes. It smells even longer after uh, you you know you've removed the apparel it's still there very beautiful lasting fragrance so similar very close to that particular OG was Ardal Zafran's 24 um, uh, Oud this is excellent and you can definitely give this a try again this should be in the ballpark figure of 1400 to 1500 rupees for I think 80 ml roughly so an excellent choice for black orchid um, you know called and this is a gourmand fragrance again so you know definitely can consider this uh, so this is um, Ardal Zafran's 24 Oud, an alt of um, Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Number 10 on this list is a recent fragrance that I got. This is called uh, Maiden and uh, Maiden is basically a fragrance uh, from the house of uh, Spirit of Dubai. Now this is a fragrance that has got Oud, it's got leather but this leather smells more like suede, uh, that kind of thing. It's a very very mild, very beautiful kind of a fragrance and this is really really nice you know whenever you wear it lasts like eight ten hours and you know projects good three to four feet and the leather on this one is more like a suede leather so the oud also is very mild blended it's more like a creamy kind of a texture kind of a thing so uh, on my opinion this was a fantastic fragrance now uh, if you want a good oil of this uh, i smelt uh, ottoman leather from the house of uh, I smelled Ottoman leather from the house of Jashan Fragrances by Piyush and uh, that uh, alt is extremely extremely close to uh, Maiden and you can really consider that and uh, I haven't tested that but uh, when I put it on the other day when I got to experience it uh, the scent profile is really really good and from what I've heard uh, that from what I sprayed on my skin that day I could easily get about at least 6 hours it was there on my skin so in terms of uh, performance it's really good. I think a 30 ml should cost you about uh, 1100 or so i will put in the contact details you can definitely check so good quality fragrance especially for the winters you know this particular profile of suede leather or a mild with a creamy texture works really really well uh, it's got a little bit of that ambriness as well but i think the ambriness is a lot lower and the vibe that you get of that suede leather with that oud is fabulous so this is a maiden from the house of um, spirit of dubai the alt would be ottoman leather from the house of jashan fragrances Number 11 on this particular list is called Imitation Man. Now, this is from the house of Essentia Parfums. Now, I've featured this particular fragrance a lot of time. I've mentioned this particular fragrance. Now, this is a take on Omoad's uh, Imitation Man. Now, this has got rose, it's got incense, it's got leather, so and it's got oud as well. So, but the way this is kind of made up is very, very different. Right at the top, you have that incense node along with that rose and along with that leather. So, it's a very, very complicated, complex kind of a nature of a fragrance and it works really really well at night especially for parties for outings that you want to do with your colleagues or you know uh, a social gathering of some kind this really works well because it has got those uh, rose note but it also got that incense along with that leather makes for an amazing fragrance this will last you at least eight to ten hours on your skin and projects to more than three to four feet so a uh, very very well made fragrance i think the 50 ml should come to you about at 1500 rupees roughly less than that so you can definitely consider this is imitation man from the house of umwaj uh, the alt is by essential parfums and you can get a fabulous blend of incense rose leather a really fantastic take for winters okay Number 12 is Leighton from the house of Yasmin Fragrances. Now this has got um, lavender, it's got um, uh, vanilla and this, so it kind of becomes that you know a sweet kind of a fragrance. Now this is uh, the uh, uh, you know alt of uh, Performs de Mali's Leighton and this is very very good uh, in the community as well It's got a lot of good reviews as well plus the performance of this is very very nice and most importantly the scent profile is very good so when you put it on you kind of get a very nice sweet element to it but then you have that lavender you have that uh, note and then you know that note really takes over very very beautifully done 
you have a lot of that amber element to it as well so you have the cinnamon element you've got that little bit of the sweetness to it but the overall scent profile of this particular fragrance is fabulous especially for evening wears this makes for a very good choice and i think this 50 ml should be sub 1000 rupees easily so this is latent from the house of yasmin fragrances a take on perform simali latent Number 13 on this list is Afro Leather from the house of Mason Alhambra. Now this is a alt of uh, Memo's uh, African Leather. Now this is a fantastic leather fragrance. It's got a bit of that spicy element to it. It's got cumin, it's got coriander, it's got uh, leather, it's got wood as well. So in my opinion, this is a very, very beautiful fragrance, especially for winter wear. Projects like crazy, 3-4 feet, performs like 8-10 hours easy. And uh, just look at the presentation on this. This is a collector's item types, I feel. It's a very, very beautiful fragrance to have. And the leather note is really nice on this one. It kind of, you know, is very loud that way. Uh, the cumin and cardamom note play around a little bit on the bottom. It's got a little bit of the floor elements as well. But primarily, it's more of a spicy leather, uh, you know, warm, spicy, fresh, uh, that kind of a fragrance. Uh, this fresh element is primarily because that's light cardamom note. But primarily, you can think about it as a warm, spicy kind of a note. Beautiful leather fragrance number 13 afro leather from the house of mason alhambra now that was the first 13 of the 25 fragrances that we have listed and uh, let's see you on the other side of the part 2 video